Hello everyone, Noxious here. Welcome to another installment of my series, Machine Spotlights. In this video, I'll be covering everything you need to know about the Waterwing, one of the brand new machines introduced in Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores, and the very first aquatic mount. The Waterwing is a member of the Acquisition class of machines, and while its design is strikingly similar to that of the Sunwing, the Waterwing more closely resembles both a Pelican and a Zungaripterus. This is apparent thanks to its unique lower beak called a Guller Pouch, as well as its ability to dive and swim underwater. The Waterwing's primary purpose as an Acquisition class machine is to collect soil and sow its processed nutrients into bodies of water to produce algal blooms. These algal blooms subsequently provide much needed nutrients for fossil fostering abundant marine life, which can be seen throughout the burning shores. Cautious observers can see this process unfold. The Waterwing first digs up soil from the shore using its Golar pouch. It then flies over to a nearby body of water and proceeds to dive deep beneath the surface. Once underwater, the Waterwing utilizes its wing filters to disperse nutrients for the local fauna. Aside from its primary purpose, the Waterwing is adept at fighting off human hunters. There is even an Apex variant, which is distinguishable by its black and gold armor plating and purple muscles. These Apex variants are also unique in the fact that they provide Apex Waterwing hearts when killed, a key upgrade resource for some gear. Surprisingly enough, the Waterwing is listed at a higher combat level than machines like the Stormbird and Thunderjaw, with the regular variant being level 35 and the Apex variant being level 52. Perhaps this is due to the Waterwing's large health pool as well as its ability to dish out damage quickly and relentlessly, especially when in flocks. The Waterwing's attacks consist of a sweeping plow attack, a concussive wing blast attack, a spinning roar attack, an absolutely relentless slap attack, a lunge attack, a ranged gravel salvo, and a dive bomb attack. To reduce the Waterwing's offensive capabilities, detach both the Golar pouch and both wing filters with tear damage. This will completely disable plow and gravel attacks and weaken any dirt-based attacks. When facing against water wings, it can also be beneficial to take advantage of their elemental weaknesses and avoid their elemental resistances. The regular variant is weak versus fire damage and resistant to shock and purge water damage, while the apex variant is weak versus plasma damage and resistant to fire and frost damage. Skilled hunters can further take advantage of the Waterwing's chill water canisters by shooting them with frost ammo, causing them to explode and inflict the brittle state. The Apex Waterwing, however, has blaze canisters in place of the regular variant's chill water canisters. Shoot these with fire ammo to detonate them and inflict the burning state. All Waterwings have a resource container on their chest, similar to the Sunwings, where they store valuable resources. Detach these with tear damage prior to killing the Waterwing to collect their contents. The Waterwing can indeed be overridden and shares a similar override code to that of the Sunwings from Cauldron Gemini. I will avoid spoiling key aspects of the Burning Shores, but will simply say that through progressing the main story, you will acquire this override, essentially unlocking the Waterwing as an aerial and aquatic mount. Waterwings function similarly as a mount to Sunwings with one major difference, the ability to dive underwater. Given the body of water is deep enough, you can fly the Waterwing underwater, which is extremely handy for navigating the volcanic archipelago. This ability extends to the main map as well, allowing you to now traverse Lake Mead, Lake Mono, and the turbulent waters around the Isle of Spires. Unfortunately, when overridden, the Waterwing does not carry over its combat prowess. In fact, just like the Sunwing, the Waterwing offers no offensive capabilities when overridden. Finally, while discussing overriding Waterwings, a certain question comes to mind. Are they faster or slower than the Sunwing? Let's find out. We'll be racing them both from the Hidden Ember Perch to the Scalding Spear Perch. Ready, set, go! They both arrive in almost the exact same time. However, with diving, the Waterwing is actually a bit quicker. And when it comes to maneuverability, the Waterwing leaves the Sunwing in the dust. 
Should you choose to seek out water wings to either battle or override, you can travel to any one of their three dedicated machine sites in the Burning Shores. That's everything you need to know about the water wing. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. I was personally a little disappointed that we just got what seemed to be a different variant of the Sunwing, but I have really come to love my Waterwing Neptune. But when it comes to fighting them, let's just say I'd rather fight a Stormbird. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll be finishing up the Machine Spotlight series soon with my spotlight on the BOR7 Horus Titan. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.